And the calendar says it's the anniversary of D-Day, but so does an Atlanta man's front yard. Thank you. There's, there's, it's grossly inadequate, but thank you, and we won't forget about you. More on this heartfelt and painstaking tribute ahead in the CNN newsroom. D-Day, June 6, 1944, a day that saw more than 150,000 Allied troops sail across the English Channel and 13,000 paratroopers drop from the skies. Destination, the beaches of Normandy, France. The mission, defeat the Germans. By nightfall, more than 9,000 Allied troops were dead or wounded. One Atlanta man has an unusual and intricately detailed way to honor them. David Madelon explains why he pays tribute. Well, it was actually inspired by saving Private Ryan and the scenes in it where old Ryan is back in Normandy looking at all the crosses and bringing back all the memories of the battle. And I started thinking how oh, there's probably, you know, a lot of veterans around that have not been able to make the trip to Normandy and probably can at this stage of their life. And this would give them a little taste of what it would be like to see the monuments. I kind of started thinking it out and thought, well, there's, there's a similar thing that could be done for the Normandy monuments. And it kind of grew from there. And people have helped uh, in setting it up and donating materials. Um, and it, it pretty much has taken on a life of its own at this point. It, it seems like every year there's somebody who misunderstands this as an attempt to glorify a war in World War II, and it is far from that. It was the worst carnage this world has ever known on a global level. And this is not about honoring uh, the conflict, but the bravery that responded in relation to that conflict. Uh, and people frequently mention that our soldiers die for our country, but these fellows and ladies died for another country. I mean, truly they were defending the United States, but they fell on a foreign soil. This one fellow lingered for quite a while on a Saturday and just kept walking around and with his umbrella. And finally I went out and spoke with him and I could see immediately he was with the 129th as he was wearing a cap that had that division logo on it. He pointed to two of the crosses in the B section there and said, these were my friends. Well, the biggest, I guess, reward I get out of it is when I see an older person strolling around here and you can just tell they're back in that time, good, bad, or indifferent their past is important to someone and to a community that remembers it. Well, Madeline says that he plans to do this every year and hopes that more veterans stop by for a visit. You can actually check out his website, dday0606.org.